All right, now it's going to be your turn. You're going to see right here on this that I've given you two hybrid crosses. Okay, you're going to cross the male and the female in this case, and now it's going to be your turn. What I want you to do is I want you to make a Punnett square for this parent and this parent. What offspring are you going to get? And figure out the phenotype and the genotype. Then I want you to do this Punnett square and do the same type. Same thing, phenotype and genotype. If you're not sure how to do it, go back and look at your notes, but see what you get. Go ahead and pause the video. We'll come back in a second and work it together. All right, if you're going to put these together, you're going to get big T, big T, big T, little t, and in this case, you're going to get little t, little t, big T, little t. Now, the offspring that would occur from this are big T, big T, big T, little t, big T, big T, big T, little t. There's our first Punnett square. Check your work, see how you did. Now let's check out our phenotype and our genotype. Physically, what do you see? Well, I see one, two, three, four talls and no short. That's what I can see. There's no short. The only way I would see short is if there's little t, little t. In the genotype, how many pure tall do I see? So you start with pure. One, two. There's two of those. How many mixed tall? One, two two, there's two of those, and you don't have any of the short. Percentages, 100%, 0%, 50%, 50%, 0%. You may see the answers in either manner, but the percentages are pretty easy. Let's try the other Punnett square. square. Big T, little t, little t, little t, big T, little t, little t, little t. Check your answer and see if this is what you get for your Punnett square. Now let's check phenotype and genotype. Physically, what do I see? How many tall? I see one, two tall, and one, two short. Um, genotype, what's actually in the genes? Pure tall, um, that would be big T, big T. I don't have any of those. Mixed tall, there's two of them. That one and that one, those are mixed. And then pure short, um, that would be that one and that one. So I have 50% and 50% or zero and genotype would be zero, 50 and 50. The thing to take into my, uh, account with phenotype and genotype in your genes is it may not be big T's and little T's. It may be some other letter, but you go ahead and cross them. You may have to do them on a scrap sheet of paper. Look up the phenotype and genotype that you made and see if you can find the answer that matches them. Remember, phenotype, what do you see physically? Genotype, what's actually in the genes that maybe we can't see everything about? This is what is called Punnett squares.